Hi everyone, I'm going to show you how to use Adopt Query within SAP HR. I'm going to try and cover all the basic functionality within five minutes. Feel free to post any questions up on the YouTube channel. Okay, so we go Human Resources, Information System, Reporting Tools and Adopt Query. Now I'm going to select some basic employee data, so I want things like personnel numbers, the employee name, where they sit in the organisation, what their position title is and their basic pay. So I'm going to select a uh, personnel number. I actually want to output the number, not the actual description. So I'm going to choose only value. Employment status, I'm actually going to specify a value. So I've clicked in the selection column. So I actually only want to look at active employees. So I'll go in there, drop down, select active employee, which is employment status three. Great stuff. Right, let's go to org assignment. I'm going to select organizational unit. Now I actually want the org unit ID and the description. Uh, same for the position and let's include jobs if you use the job objects within SAP okay let's stick in personnel area as well it's usually quite a useful one because that shows you where they sit in the business okay right so let's do personal data so we've got surname first name and let's do form of address okay and let's add in some basic pay data so you just want the annual salary there we go right so based on that selection if I click on this hit list refresh button it's telling me there's 800 people great now down in the preview window here I also have to click on refresh so it actually click, uh, brings in the live data so if I click on execute excellent okay so here's a preview of what the reports going to look like now Usually my reports, I'm going to have the employees' names usually to the left of the report. So I've selected the columns. Let's move them to the left. Drag them into the column there. Let's do the same with the form of address. Let's move that first. Then we want the first name first, and then the surname. Then we've got the team details, which is the org unit ID, org unit description, we've got the position and the position title. We've also got the personnel area and personnel sub area and it's also got jobs now i might decide actually i don't want the jobs so i selected the columns right click delete field i've got a range of salaries i may decide do you know what i only want to show employees that are earning 30k or more so what i can do is go to my annual salary up here click on the selection so it brings up the field here i'm going to click on multiple selection i'm going to click on exclude a range i'm going to put a range in so i'm going to say Everyone from zero salary to 29k, I'm going to exclude. So let's put those values in there and click on execute. So it's only going to show me employees with 30k or more. Okay, so click on hit list. So what this is doing now, based on that filter criteria, it's now actually dropped down from 800 to 192. So again, refresh the data here. On execute. If I go along here, I can sort the uh, column. So it's showing me the highest range first, so the highest salary. So some big earners in the organization, and then down to the 30k. As you can see, we've got no one on like 20k and that because we specified the value, which is great. Now we've got some positions at 999. Now this is a demo system, so typically 9999 positions will be like levers, but because we specified employment status active. We know that data is wrong. So I can go ahead and filter positions out as well that I actually don't want. So we go back up to uh, organizational assignments. Let's go to position output. I'm actually going to click on multiple selection, exclude single values. So I'm actually going to put in position numbers. So eight nines. So it's going to exclude all positions that equal the nines. So let's go tick that and refresh down here execute as you can see there I'm just scrolling through very quickly there's all the position numbers and it's filtered out all the all the nines so that's the basic functionality of filters you've also got total it can total the salaries up so I can click on the salary click on the total and it just puts a basic sum there because we've got various uh, employees in different countries we've got the different currency ratings as well it just it's a nice useful feature you could also right click um, we can go to color, we can specify a color just so it highlights that 
important information in our report. What we can do now is let's export that report to a spreadsheet, Excel format, green tick. Let's populate it on my desktop. Allow the security message. You may or may not get those security messages. And there we are, we've got our report in Excel. Now, because you disconnected it from Excel, obviously any live changes to your system won't be shown. So let's go ahead quickly and save that. So we go to save. Always recommend that you have some sort of naming convention because if there's several of you that use uh, adult query, then you know this, you know the file list is going to grow over time. So uh, just allows it, you know, allows you to uh, find your uh, reports very easily. So just gonna leave that as it is and green tick. And there we are, query saved.